In one city not far from Inkwell lived a young boy by the name of Dice. Every night, Dice would run away from home to the city bar to perform many kinds of magic tricks for the drunks. The boy always had a trick up his sleeves and fooled many of the innocent people in the bar. One day it would be with a dirty scam, and in the other, pickpocket from the sleeping people. One dark night decided the boy to go to the neighbouring city because many people in the local bar started to run out of goods and riches. After a long way to the neighbouring city, disappointed was Dice to see that in the bar there was only but two people. The first was the barman, and the second was an old man sitting alone. But determined to fill his pockets, young Dice decided to try and fool the old man. But after a while started the old man to tell not ending stories about himself when he was a young boy. Not interested and annoyed, Dice didn't listen to the man and instead tried to pickpocket him. But the man caught him red-handed and revealed himself to be the one and only devil. And with a mocking vice and a purse in his hand, he said, Were you looking for this? Continue the devil and said, You tried to steal from me. Well, for this young man, your hand should be cut. As he raised a knife and Dice started to cry from fear. Please, sir, I beg, have mercy. I do everything. I will give you all I have and even more. I will even be your servant for the rest of my life if you just please don't hurt me. Dice cried and begged. What an interesting option you give me. Let's do just that. I will have mercy on you and you will be my very own servant, said the devil as he pulled out a contract and a pen. After all, it would be a shame to lose a talented boy like you, so what do you say, kid? Do we have a deal? Dice, without a thought, signed and agreed to the deal, because he was scared from the idea of what would happen if he dare say no to the devil. And from this day forward, Dice served the devil and did all what the devil asked of him. After some years, turned Dice from a simple servant to the devil's right-hand man, and to the title of King Dice.